stories of the Bible. Joseph and his coat. So this is Joseph. Hey! You see, Joseph was the son of Israel and Rachel. Israel loved Joseph more than all 12 of his sons. In fact, he made Joseph a coat to show him how much he loved it. <laughs> when Joseph's brothers saw this, they hated Joseph. <laughs> One night, Joseph had a dream. When he awoke, Joseph told the dream to his brothers. He said, listen to this dream I had. We were gathering grain when suddenly my bundle of grain rose up and all of you bowed to me. This made his brothers hate Joseph even more. And they said, you're gonna rule over us? Then Joseph had another dream. And he told it to his brothers and his father. He said, listen, I had another dream. And this time, the sun and moon and 11 stars were bowing down to me. This time, Israel heard the dream and rebuked Joseph, saying, Will your mother and brothers and I actually come and bow down before you? The brothers were even more angry when they heard the second dream. Israel, however, decided to think about what Joseph was saying. One day, Joseph's brothers were working when they saw Joseph coming to meet them. One of his brothers mocked him and said, here comes the dreamer. Come on now, let's kill him and throw him away to be devoured by a ferocious animal. Then we'll see what comes of his dreams. One of the brothers named Reuben wanted to rescue Joseph, so he said, let us not take his life. Instead, throw him in the pit. Yeah. So when Joseph came to his brothers, hey. they attacked him. Yeah. They took the robe their father had given Joseph. They hoisted Joseph up and threw him into the well. Uh. Then they saw a group of men from Midian coming towards them. Judah thought it would be a good idea to sell Joseph to these men. So the brothers sold Joseph to the merchants for 20 shekels. The brothers then took the coat of many colors back to their father and made him believe that Joseph had been killed. Israel wept for his son, whom he loved. Meanwhile, Joseph was taken as a slave to Egypt to work in the house of a man named Potiphar. For Joseph's story was only just beginning. <laughs>